Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's always a fun video because I'm just talking about my favorites and these are all my favorites from April. So let's get started. All right, so favorite number one is this from Sol de Janeiro. This is their Beja Flor Elastic Cream. I will throw out there, I was a little tricked when I first started using this because I thought it was a retinol cream, like a retinol body butter. So I was like, oh my gosh, yes, because it says enriched with retinol dash mimicking cacao oil. So it's actually a retinol alternative, like one of those plant alternatives for retinol. So it has cacao oil in it, which is also really nice. It has plant collagen. It's a really nice body butter, but the real reason why this made it into my favorites is not because of the way it feels or what difference I see in my skin because I haven't used it long enough to see that difference yet. What I love about this is That fragrance, oh my goodness. This is by far my favorite fragrance that I have smelled from Sol de Janeiro. Like I know everybody loves that original fragrance and I think it's nice, but this one, this one smells so pretty and it's really strong. Like sometimes when you use body creams that are fragranced body creams, you feel like the fragrance just kind of dissipates immediately. This one does not do this. It like stays with you. You open this up, like we're gonna smell this fragrance the entire rest of the shoe because it's just so strong, which I love. That's kind of what I would be buying it for. I'll tell you, I love body butters a lot. I still think if you're going for one of those like retinol alternative body butters, the one from Josie Marin, the pro retinol one, the whipped argan butter, I think that one just feels so amazing. It's one of my favorite body butters ever. So I would say that that one feels better and just makes your skin so buttery soft and it's just a, a much better body butter. But if you wanna smell beautiful, then I would go for this one. So you're buying them for completely different reasons. Like that one is more of a, it really works kind of body butter. And this one is a, the body butter's okay. You know, it's a little bit soapy. It's like one of those that's really hard to rub into your skin, but the fragrance is so pretty that I don't care. So I hope that makes sense. I, I'm not using this like all over my body. It's like putting it on the tops of like my arms and stuff and just smelling that beautiful fragrance, you know? That's what I use this for. It's gonna last me forever because of that. Next up, this is probably one of my favorite of all of those skin tint type of foundations that have come out. I love this one. This is the Givenchy Prism Libre Skin Caring Glow Foundation. They also have one that is more of a matte foundation. I have tried both of them. I love them both, they are so pretty, but this one, has become my favorite. There's just something about the way this makes my skin look. It's like that perfect in-between. I really like the Charlotte Tilbury foundation that gives you a glow too, but that feels more like a regular foundation to me. This one is kind of what, you know, like the, the NARS light reflecting foundation. I love what that does for my skin, but I feel like it's really hard not to look greasy by the end of the day. This is kind of what I wanted that one to feel like, if that makes sense. So it's got that glow to it, but it's not so intense and it has just enough grip on your skin and in just enough coverage that it actually looks like a foundation too. So it's perfecting your skin while giving you that glow and it is so pretty. The other thing I love about this is that they're not trying to overly tout these like skincare ingredients. They just made sure that it's really hydrating for the skin and really smoothing for the skin and just really comfortable and skin-like in the finish. I just love that this is really just a hydrating, glowy foundation that looks so pretty on my skin. Next up is kind of an old tool that just kind of recently made it back into my makeup routine and it's this little eyelash curler from Shuyimura. I actually got this off of Yes Style. So, you know, if you haven't tried Yes Style, they have tons of the, you know, different Asian retailers on there, including different fashion brands. I don't really love the clothing, but when it comes to getting different beauty products, it's a really great resource. Sometimes it can take forever, but they show you that it's gonna, you know, take a long time for it to arrive, like a year, and <laughs> I'm exaggerating, it's not a year, but it's like months to arrive versus, you know, like really quick arrival. So make sure you're paying attention to that when you use YesStyle. But I picked up one of these mini eyelash curlers from Shuyimura, which it's really old school actually, but I felt like this would be such a good tool to have because, you know, sometimes, you know, when you have smaller eyes, I don't necessarily have tiny eyes, but I don't have big eyes either and because of that sometimes I need to just be really specific about the areas where I am curling my lashes especially when using you know false lashes too so this is just really helpful to get precise with it otherwise you know when I'm using the bigger eyelash curler sometimes my eyelashes end up going
going in different directions and stuff. This helps me get into those areas where I just need a little bit more curl. Next up, anything Chanel, I tend to just love, you know, and part of it is because I'm biased. It's just, it's Chanel. Chanel is just the ultimate when it comes to luxury for me. I don't know. It's one of those brands that, you know, I feel like they really have built their prestige. Their products are beautifully made, especially their makeup products. So anytime Chanel comes out with something, I'm always really excited about it. They also sent me these, which is like, oh, thank you, Chanel. So nice to get these. These are some of their newest lipsticks. They're called Rouge Allure L'Extrait. I don't know, don't come for me. I don't pronounce French very well. Anyway, but these are refillable lipsticks. They're very nice and silky on your lips. They're like a hybrid of like a satin finish with like a matte kind of hold. They're really beautiful. It also lasts for a very long time. They say the color lasts for eight hours, but it doesn't feel crusty and dry on your lips. It feels really comfortable, but it also has, you know, like really nice plant oils in it that help to hydrate your lips and keep them moisturized. It's very nice. Also, the case is really small. I mean, it's like the size of my finger. <laughs> And you just press the button and you'll see that it's this really skinny lipstick bullet, but it's really nice and precise when you apply it to your lips. And then it's refillable, which we're gonna just continue saying refillable everything. This is like a big, big trend and it's really easy. You just pop that out and then you get another refill and then you just pop it right back in. So, so the first time you're buying the case, and then the second time, you just buy the refill. You're not saving a ton of money, but it is one step towards more sustainability when it comes to your beauty products. You guys always ask about my nail polish, and I have to tell you, this nail polish from Essie, it is their Gel Couture in the color Fab Florals 252. This has to be one of my favorite nail polishes ever. I keep reapplying this, and it's not really like me to keep going with a, with a color that you know, like everyone's gonna kind of notice, like this is just the shade that you always see in like my Instagram videos and stuff, but I can't help myself. I love this color so much. It's like a orange brown, like a burnt sienna. I can't really explain the exact color, but it is so pretty. I get so many compliments on it. And the nail polish does last for like a week because it's got that gel finish. There is a top coat that you have to use with it, which I have on right now. And it really does help it stay on for a while. And it just looks really pretty and shiny, almost like you've got gels on. I had never used the Gel Couture polish before, but when they sent this to me, I was like, this color is stunning, it's so pretty. So I just keep using it. So if you keep seeing me using it, I actually am reapplying it. Like I keep using this color. I'm gonna probably finish up this bottle. It is so pretty. Next up are my brow products I've been using lately. These are from the brand Make. I am really good friends with the owners of this brand. Carrie is one of my favorite people in the world. She is so sweet and so creative. And just so you guys know, there are so many beautiful cosmetic products coming from Make Beauty this year, and I'm so excited for it. Carrie and I have had the opportunity to work together. I, I don't work on her brand whatsoever. It is her brand, but we did share an office. The Naturium office has now expanded and we're on our own and everything, it's kind of sad. It's like a new era. But when we were first starting our brands, we were doing it kind of at the same time and we share our, you know, our main investor is the same investor. And, you know, he sometimes will, will like ask us questions about each other's brands and stuff. And I've just had a chance to see how hard Carrie has worked on this brand and how much she cares about this brand. So it's so exciting to see her start to launch a lot of her cosmetics that I know she's had in the works for literally two years. So first up are the brow products. This is the Blade Line brow pencil and then this is the sculpting brow gel this is in clear they also have different brow gels in different shades but I personally love the clear one I was already a fan of the original formula and then they updated it to make it even better with this one of these two products I especially love the blade line my color is cool brown that's the one I've been using lately usually when I love eyebrow pencils they're really really skinny and they're just like a very straightforward pencil but this one is a little bit different because you can see it has that sort of a flat shape to it, but it's still really thin and it's so creamy when it goes onto your brow. So you can make kind of like hair-like strokes, which is a good thing. You want that for your brow pencils, but then you can also fill in really easily because you can just turn it and use it in different ways. The packaging is beautiful on these products and this is also refillable. So you just pull out the little pencil when you're done and then you get a new one and you pop it right back in. It's so straightforward and really pretty and well done. And then 
you'll you just when you feel the brow gel it's nice and it's got that heavy luxury feel to it it is so pretty it has a nice brush to it and it works really well to hold your brows in place so if you like a clear brow gel this is a really nice one these products are especially great for anybody who loves that big bushy brow the like cool girl you know boy brow style these products really are meant for those brows and they work so beautifully Next up are these creams from Neogen. They have two different ones with very similar ingredients, but they have different textures to them. This is the V Biome Soothing Cream and then the V Biome Firming Cream. What I love about these, besides the texture, the texture is beautiful on both of them, but what I love about them is that they have this V Biome Liposome. If you don't know what a liposome is, it's essentially their way of saying that it's encapsulated, but it's a lot more than just encapsulation. They encapsulate this blue mallow flower extract, which is really soothing for the skin. It can be very firming, it has lots of benefits to it. They encapsulate it with a vitamin C derivative and also probiotics, and it makes for this beautiful cream. I didn't realize how much I was gonna like it until I actually tried both of them on my skin, and I love them. The texture is just so pretty. So let me show you first the soothing cream because it is much lighter in texture. It also has this really fun globe applicator so you can just apply it directly to your skin. Don't worry, I'm positive they've tested for preservatives and all of that stuff so it's not gonna go bad. So let me just show you that texture. It's really pretty. It's more of a gel cream. It's very light. It has a little less of that V Biome liposome in it but I think it's also to help it be a little bit lighter on the skin. This also has like niacinamide in it. It has some of my favorite skincare ingredients in it. It's so pretty. I tend to like something a little bit richer and creamier as my moisturizer, but what I find is this works really well during the daytime, so you know, even for me with dry skin, the soothing cream is actually really great. But for nighttime, I absolutely need something a little bit richer. I actually tend to double up my moisturizers. Some of my serums are even a little bit creamy, so I love to pack on the moisture at nighttime, and that's when I love to use this one. It is the V Biome Firming Cream, and you can see it's a huge difference in the texture. It's so much more creamy. It has double the amount of that V Biome extract or the liposome in it, and it's so pretty. Look at that super, super creamy. You feel like you wake up with like just super bouncy skin in the morning and it's so nice. I love this stuff. Does it have a fragrance to it? I think it has a little bit of a fragrance to it, but it's nothing strong. It's very pretty. I love both of them. And last are my hair rollers. I told you in one of my other videos that I love the T3 hair rollers because they have really thick ones to give you volume, but they're also a little pricey. And so people were asking if there were more affordable hair rollers to suggest. So I went ahead and tried these out. They are from Conair and they are really good. I still can't really get my entire head with these, but I get the majority of like the area that needs the volume, so that's all that really matters. This is the Infinity Pro set, and it comes with really big hot rollers to get that volume. These are two inch rollers, so they're very large rollers. They are not meant to be, you know, the, the kind of rollers that give you the country music curls. It's still gonna give you the country music hair. The higher the hair, the closer to God. You're gonna get that with these hair rollers, and they are so nice. They're super soft, they have that Velcro on them. They're they're kind of like more of the old school type of rollers, except that they're really thick. They're two inches. I think I actually like the clips a little bit better too, just because they're not as tight as the ones for the T3, but they don't leave that crease that the T3 ones do sometimes. Sometimes when I put them like a little wrong on my head, when I'm holding the curl in, the clip like will leave this little dent in my hair and then I have to smooth that out too. These don't do that as much and I think it's because they're not as tight and it also doesn't have like all those teeth on it where it just holds it there in place. These ones are just a little bit nicer to your hair. Side note, these are $55, but I've seen that they've been on sale on Amazon for a while, so they're $34 on Amazon. I bet you if you go to like, you know, Amazon, Ulta, wherever else they sell these, I bet you could get a deal on them too, so just keep that in mind as well. I paid $34 for these on Amazon. The sale seems to still be going on, so buying them on Amazon or somewhere you can get a discount on them. So those are my April favorites. I was gonna try to, you know, like bring in other types of products I've been buying, but the truth is I just haven't had a chance to buy anything this past month besides some of my new beauty products. So hopefully next month I'll actually get a chance to go shopping a little bit. I'll show you some of my other stuff. I said I was gonna do that in my last video and then sure enough, I didn't buy anything, which is probably a good thing. I don't need to always buy new stuff every single month. If you have questions about any of these products, feel free to ask me in the comments below. You can find me on Instagram. I'm at Susan Yara and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.